Well, we've done it all, guys. We've done the RVing. We've done the big house. We've done the little house. And we're in the little house now. Well, it's a, we, we call it a smaller home. Smaller home. Smart house, smart home. Slash smart home. A lot of people are in a big house and they want to go full-time RVing. The big house, the ups were, it was huge, it was awesome, we could get away from each other, it was great. You know, you can have your own, what I meant is that, is you can have your own space, right? That was great, you had a big garage, um, it was great. That part people was good. People have stuff. People have we stuff. We have a lot of stuff, and you know, everybody well, says, get rid of stuff. Stuff is stuff, it means nothing. But honestly, in the end, it costs money to rebuy It costs those money things. to rebuy if you ever want, like, something... Like, let's put, like, we used to go to Sam's Club and BJ's. We used to stock our big house for all the stock. We used to have all kinds of backup food. And um, and we'd buy at a discount. Because he in eats bulk. a lot. Like, he he could sit down with a bag of potato chips or a bag of granola, and it's gone. Well, but he doesn't gain weight. He He's a lot of muscle because he's constantly going. You guys have seen that from the videos. He's constantly going. I guess the main thing is, as I'm saying, is the discounts. Like, if you're in an RV or small if house, it's harder discounts. to get the discounts because you got to buy... Little by little. Now, if you're in a big house, that's a benefit. Now, the the drawback to a big house, I believe, is the power bill, the taxes, uh, the water bill. Every well, not. But water honestly, bill. if you go from Ross thought that if we sold the house, that all of our bills monthly would go down. Okay, and his mindset is a lot like a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are thinking that if we sell the house and we downsize to an RV... Um, We'd have less bills. We're going to have less bills. We actually had more bills. We had more bills with the RV because, one, we were trying to heat it and cool it. Living in the RV to cool that sucker was... Ooh. Well, first of all, we don't want to down RVing. RVing... We're not downing RV. If you RV Definitely around, not. it's great. We still want to get an RV, a smaller one, an RV around... We just don't want to do full time anymore in the RV. For us, our full time RVing was not for us. Some people work, it works out great for them, and that's amazing. We're definitely not knocking your lifestyle, and we're not knocking RVing. We're actually we love RVing. we're actually jealous that you guys can actually make it. Yeah. On vi the bare minimum stuff, and we're jealous because we can't do that. We wish we, we could. Just, we don't we have the mindset could. or the personalities yeah. to be able to do that. Like those people that have the vans that are able to go to the beach and sleep at the beach and do that stuff and be free like that, that's amazing. Yeah. I wish I could do that, but I can't do that. Yeah. My brain doesn't allow me to be like that. I have to have, like I have a routine, and if that routine gets all screwed up, forget it. My brain is just like <laughs> all over the place. And the, and the big and thing you I guys saw that in our videos. The biggest thing I didn't like was the... Um, hard to get away from each other in an RV when you're full time when you're on vacation who cares right you want to spend time together we you had know? a great time we'd go on vacations we you guys yeah. saw all our videos we had we a better time it. vacationing in an RV than regular because of the weather temperature the the sun in an RV oh it's so hard to keep that cold I don't care if you have it five air conditioners it's so hard, hard. Holy and cow. And even the winter time, okay, oh, you guys know. The propane we went through was unreal. If you guys live in an RV full time, you know what we're talking about. It's either you have to figure out a way to keep that place cool, like underneath a, shell, a shade or a shelter. Um, and even if you're underneath a shelter, it can't be too close to where the vents are for the air conditioning because it still doesn't allow breeze to move through there. And there's so many things that go into it. And wintertime, it takes everything we had to get that place warm. It took three space heaters, which are 1,500 watts apiece. It took, like, two bottles of propane every two weeks. Every week was a bottle of 40-pound cylinder of propane a week. Yeah. And that cost money. It was, like, $60 or $50 each time. That was on top of us running the... Um, three heaters. The heater in the front, which was the fireplace. And then two space heaters. The space heater in the bedroom... And space the space heat, the, the, the heat pump, the heat pump on the roof. Now, if it dropped below forty degrees outside, 30. that one more thirty. 30? Yeah. Well, around forty, it stopped working. Yeah, it slowed good. down. It's not as efficient. It wasn't it efficient, worked. and it wasn't working very good. Um, the other thing in the summertime, if it got above, let's say 85, 86, you could not keep that place cool. No, you just can't. It was not below eighty-five degrees in there. No, it's it's because the sun was beating on it, and it was just 
baking it like a tin can. It was just okay. It was let's crazy. let's talk about this place now. Let, I know we're jumping around, but I want to talk to the prices, how much stuff costs. Let's talk to this place. So this is a how much for electric in the RV? Well, let's talk about price after. Let's just go. We're just talking about the comfort. Okay. So comfort here for the big house, which is thirty five hundred square feet, comfortable. Well, not too comfortable because it wasn't insulated that well. It was a house that was newer, we but they did a crappy job. We had issues in there too. I yeah. mean, we had a lot. We had just replaced two air conditioners. Yeah. We paid nine thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars. Nine thousand. It was twelve thousand for two air conditioners because they did the ductwork too. Oh yeah. And we're trying to say. We're main trying thing to is say that there's so many differences whether you go from a house to an RV. Um, we're just trying. So many of you think that if you sell your house and you go to an RV, it's going to be cheaper for you. Um, well, the thing is, is they're, they're price gouging on the lots. The lot rent and RV parks, they're price gouging. There's they're, so many things that are going on. It's an exploded explosion of RVers out there now. So they're getting their price because these RV parks are full. Supply and but demand when you got a lot of... Six or seven years ago, those RV parks yeah, were when we buried, did it, There was nothing there. Yeah, it was just starting to go up when we, we got in. And I was like, uh-oh. These parks are going up. I'm looking at these prices. I'm like, what are they doing? And then you and, and then they're full. You can't. It doesn't matter if the price. You can't get in the park. You can't get your RV in the so park. So that's another problem. So you're gonna full time RV. Or they stick you in the back. By the, they stick you in the back by the swamp. You know. Where are you gonna live? Those are those yeah. things that you have to pay attention to. So if you're used to living, say, in a gated community or in a really really nice community, and you end up having to you know settle for a park where it's not in a good area or you know, the, the, I mean, you, we were we would have we would like do the wild thing, and all of a sudden, really, we're gonna do this in this video. Well, we were we would do whatever we got to do. We were doing, and then really, we, all right, we'd be interrupted by something, <laughs> and then we hear it, bang, 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 bang on a door at nine o'clock in the morning. It's like, hello, who's banging on a door at nine o'clock in the morning? Well, I just seen your RV. I just figured I'd I like your RV. I just figured I'd, it's like, dude. I, I have a family here. I'm full time. I want to sleep, but you can't say that. You got to be nice, right? Living in RV. It's like is, holy cow! And then, and then all of a sudden, this guy doesn't know that the other guy knocked. And then an hour later, another guy's knocking on your door. It's like, can you help me with my tire? Can you help me with my tire? And it's not that like, we mind that. I'm trying to get work done. But for us working from home, and we also couldn't travel all the time. Yeah. So, so it was, it was there's rough. a lot of RVers that I see on your. You guys have a lot. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that. Yeah travel which I love and I think it's amazing if you can travel all the time um, we just we were worried about for it. us we couldn't because we had to be stable to yeah. have the internet we had to have the electricity and the internet costs a fortune they like $150 a month just for data to be unlimited and Verizon it's like $150 and then that's $300 every two months and then you it just uh, the the um the black tank would always give me problems. We'd have oh. these gnats and fruit flies. I'm like, this is great. RBs are awesome, and they're great for vacation. Full-time, I don't know. Some people, they're good for. Others... We, in this video, we, we're not trying to upset anybody. We're just trying to help new people that are trying to jump in. Be prepared. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, be There's prepared. There's a lot of things that go into full-time RVing. People don't and really... And a lot of people don't realize it, and I'm just trying to show you guys, because Ross... When he got this in his head, he saw all these other RVs. I seen all the good. All the good, and nobody showed any of those bad things, and that's why we tried to show everything on our channel. Well, they're all running around with a camera, which we did. And we we've been doing it for like ten years before YouTube started the camera we've stuff. So we're not copying videos. people. We've been doing it since sun cam days. Um, uh, but the thing is, is we'd have a lot of people. Um, you know, they just say it was like it was like they thought that showing themselves on vacation on a cliff, like hey. Or in a waterfall like we did, we did was, was going to get you a ton of views on YouTube and going to make your channel explode and you're going to make a li listen. It's you, not the case. It's not doesn't YouTube work like that. YouTube is not going to buy you a huge, humongous mansion. Some people it has. Uh, it will. Majority. Some people it will. It's like but it's like not saying you're, everybody. Yeah, it's like saying you're going to be a, a rock star. It's like just yeah, you could be a rock star, but there's only like or like the lottery. One person is going to win yeah. out of how many millions of people is going to win that. We're, and we're talking about YouTube. We're not discouraging you buying a camera and going Never. out and doing it. We're not Because you can do it. And you we're can... just trying to put some kind of logical thinking yeah, into it. Guys. And we're just trying to show you. Because I have seen so many people. Hundreds of that people. That have jumped into it both feet 
and they're so excited, and I'm excited for you too. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but mean, then in the end, they're like, oh man, this sucks. But and they're coming back to us now saying, I, I would. I seen you guys doing YouTube, and now they're like, want to get a house. More people are coming to us, emailing us that they want their house back, that they want to get in a house and sell their RV. Or they then want they're... land with a small house on it. Right, which is right. Funny. They're doing that more than people asking us questions about full timing now, about going into an RV. They want to get out of it because it's yeah. washed out. Yeah, it's washed. Well, it's not that it's washed out. There's just so many people doing it That's now. That's washed and out. And Too many people doing it. So many people that they're getting the bigger RVs. That's the other thing. We wanted a big RV because we wanted a big space to Can't live in. Can't park the darn thing anymore because everybody There's else no is at the RV parks with their huge mumbo jumbo RVs. And the other thing is, when you're moving that huge beast, the fuel is whole. It's not really just the fuel. It's like stress. Where are you going to put that thing? Okay, you find a park. You finally find a park that can accommodate your big beast. So where are you going to put it? Well, a lot of the parks <gasps> would be like, well, you can park here for a week, but you got to move it. You got to move it here for another week. It's like. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I'm going to move this so thing every two seconds? You it can't. was almost like our life was constantly in an uproar. Well, it would take a whole day to move, and it's a whole day of lost work. And then we would do really good, because we would find a place where we could stay for five or six months, and yeah. we were doing really, really good, and everything would calm down, we'd be good, we'd finally stop arguing and fighting, and we would calm everybody down, and then all of a sudden, oh, we got to move again, because yeah, there's like, an issue, and some or would break. bike week. Or we oh, have something geez. else going on. Or oh, Easter weekend is wait, a thing. Wait, it's bike week we had to stay at our friend's house. Lucky we had Charlie and Keisha. That we had was, to stay there. That was Memorial Day. Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. We, we no par that. no parks would let us in. I'm like, uh, we, we had to call stuck. a fan and be like, can we stay at your place? And he pulled his RV out of his thing. And Thank I gave God him like, I think I gave him like 200 bucks. And we stayed there for like a week or two, two Thank weeks. Thank God for them because we could, we had no other place to go. It's Thank like, God. I mean, I was ready to pay him $500. I had no place to go. It's like. You know, I felt trapped. I'm like, this is crazy. Those are the things. And when you RV for fun, no. you don't care. So what? whatever, you know, you can't get out for that week or whatever. Whatever, no big I would, deal. I, you go yeah. another week. But when you're full-timing and that is your life, oh, what are you going to, where are you and your house going to live? Nothing crashes. And a lot of you will say, okay, boondock? Fine, let's boondock. Mm. But then you, I've seen a lot of you boondockers say, oh, so-and-so happened to come by the house or... So and so, we got a big old flood or whatever. I, I don't want to have to Jeez. worry about those things. Every time you go into a new situation, you don't know if the park's going to flood out in a storm. You don't know. I don't want to have to worry about that. Yeah, stuff. a tree's going to fall on you. It's like there's too much work. I got so much into business that I have to do, to everything else. I have no time to worry about where I'm going to live next. It's That would take me too much time. Just like Einstein, he would have a sh closet full of shirts. This is what I read that he would have all the same shirts because he didn't want to think, use his time to think to try a different shirt on and to what was going to match that day because he wanted to put his knowledge into figuring uh, stuff out and um, scientific stuff. And so, please don't get us wrong. We're yeah. not trying to down RV life. We just want the newbies to watch this video and be prepared that it's not all cream cheese, right? It's not all cream cheese. It's not all sugar and candy canes. And yeah, it's all not. So there is goods and there are some bads. We have been to some amazing places. Yeah, we met a we lot have of met some people, amazing yeah. people. Yeah. We probably but wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the RV. You're very right. Now, some of the places we stayed, are, one place was in the summertime, and it, our electric was like $170. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was Georgia. The, yeah, I didn't like that. And then, No, when we were in, uh, in North Carolina in the mountains, it was $170. Right. And then when we were here on this property, our electric... Just the electric bill by itself was a hundred between one hundred and fifty to one hundred and seventy five dollars, depending. Okay. So let's not confuse them. Let's give them round numbers. The house was eighteen, eighteen, nineteen hundred a month. The RV was about at least fifteen hundred, fourteen hundred when everything said and done. So it wasn't more in the house, but it was close. But that's not including gas. That's not including propane and everything else. So it was almost the same amount as the house. Now it's very, it, very close. Now this place is like, um, well, we, we we put a lot of money. We put forty thousand dollars into this place. It was already here. We paid twenty eight thousand for the land, so we don't have a loan on this, so we don't, we don't have to pay mortgage. So, so that was only thing we have to pay is a twenty five dollar a water bill and like an eighty dollar power bill. That's our bills here. And taxes and insurance. Taxes are about four hundred bucks a year. Insurance is probably fifty bucks a month for this place. Very. But that's just for us to stay in while we build the house. Right. So it's, it's just temporary. It's just, you know, but it's 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 a it's a nice temporary place for now. So, but yeah. what we're trying to show you guys is 
the difference between a humongous house. A lot of people are going from a big house and thinking that they're going to they're downsize do, to an RV. Yeah, they're going. They're, they're, they're just doing, as happy. It's too extreme, they guys. It's too much, guys. It's too much. If you're going to go from a big house, go to a smaller house. Something like one bedroom. And make it clean and neat and a little smart home, energy efficient. But you can go small. They gave us a chance to find this property. It gave us a chance to meet Leon and his family. Which we might go see next week or the week after. It gave us a chance to meet a million different people that we would have never met. You know, when we RV'd for just for vacation, we had some of the most amazing vacations. Yeah. We got to go to some of the coolest waterfalls met in Florida. Met a lot Florida. of Canadians, met a lot of this, met a lot of that. I mean, I loved it when we would go to the beach. I mean, it was just, we had fun. We well, really I didn't have did. fun at one time at the beach and the music was classic. Remember in the state park? Oh, my gosh. Okay, he's like a 100-year-old man in a 42-year-old body. But... This is what I'm saying to Did you, you hear the music that day? Remember in Harvey? That was loud, right? I just went to bed. I was tired. They the were just, my butt it was day. so loud, the whole, the whole windows were going, blah, blah, blah. I was like, holy cow. What we're trying to say to you guys is that there's differences, whether you live in an RV, whether you live in a house. There's ups and downs to everything, and look at, do the research before you jump in the, jump the gun. And we're just trying to say that maybe instead of going from a house to an RV. Go a house to a smaller house. Maybe that might be your best bet. Because for us, we are a lot happier in here. Yeah, and I know you guys can see it from the videos. They, He's you, much they, you even tell us that we're happier in here. He is so much happier. I mean, and we're not even completely finished with the, the work in here. Him well, and I have both been like, we needed a break. We needed to take my back from well, bothering me. He hasn't been fitting. We're going to get some uh, feedback from this video. from. Some we're time. really going to get a lot of shit from you guys. And I'm sorry if, if we have offended you, but we're not trying to offend anybody in this video. What, I'm, what the purpose of this video is, is to try and get try, other people to, to think about what they're doing before to save you jump money. in yeah. with both feet. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that RV and they have a great time. And we're definitely not knocking the full-time lifestyle. For us, it wasn't for us. And we're just trying to save some people the headache of doing what we did. You know what I mean? Right. Will we RV again? Of course we will. Will we buy another RV? Of course we will. For vacation. But for vacation. We will never do it for full-time again. Have Ever. a good one, guys. We love you. And pass this video on to anybody new that wants to do RVing. Or a tiny house, or are they getting frustrated with their mortgage? Or and we are not knocking anybody's lifestyle ever. See ya.